want to talk about something very, very, very that I preached some time ago. Amen. I feel the Spirit of God was telling me to, to teach the same message that benefits of giving to God. Benefits of giving to God. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. Benefits of giving to God. I don't want to teach like other people the way they teach. But I want to teach you that giving the benefits of giving to God it's very important. Praise be the name of the living God. Because the Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. Praise be the name of the living God. But sometimes we may say that you give so that you receive. That's right. That's the principle of God. That you give and you receive. But giving to God has got different kind of uh, uh, ways of doing it. You can give God by sacrificing yourself and serving him. You can give God by praising him. You can give God by worshiping him. You can give God physical giving. You can give God spiritual, spiritually. Praise be the name of the living God. You can give yourself, your mind, soul, and spirit, and your heart to serve God and to serve him wholeheartedly. Giving yourself to God. Praise be the name of the living God. That is also a sacrifice. Praise be the name of the living God. And there is also a sacrifice that you give physically. We shall read about that here. Praise be the name of the living God. So giving to God, you can give to God even serving, even cleaning the church. When you are cleaning the altars and cleaning the house of the living God, you are also sacrificing to God. Because sometimes, you are able to do it, but you are not doing it. You know that we have so many people in the house of God who are able to do uh, sacrifice themselves and do the cleanings and doing all this, but they don't do it. But they just want to sit down. They are bosses. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. They are bosses. Praise be the name of the living God. And even some of them, they may, you may ask, ask them, they tell you that washing or cleaning of the house of, uh, cleaning the church is a work, work of women. Let me tell you the truth, there is no work of women in the house of the living God. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. There is no work of women. Amen. We are all the children of God. If you understand, and, and you understand who you are, in the kingdom of God. You are a child of God. Praise be the name of the living God. So when your father calls you in his house and tells you arrange 
these things in the house. You tell him, my sister will do it. You are losing focus. You are losing focus. Praise be the name of the living God. The house of God is the house of our Father. You can sacrifice yourself and come and cleanse and wash and make the house of the Lord clean. It's the house of my Father. It's where I dwell. And I'll dwell there and I'll receive blessings. And maybe God is testing you with something very small just to clean this. Praise be the name of living God. And you refuse. Amen. There's somebody Kuna mtu. somewhere Maali. they were blind. Alikuwa kipofu. They were blind. Alikuwa bifo, fibofu. They could not see. Awangeweza kuona. But they had that heart of giving to God. Lakini walikuwa na hiyo moyo wa kumpeana kwa Mungu. That man had that heart of giving to God. Huyo mtu alikuwa na moyo wa kupeana kwa Mungu. He used to take a, 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 a dart like this. Alikuwa anachukua kitambaa. He comes in the house of God. Anaja, anaingia katika nyumba ya Mungu. As he walks in. Vile anaingia ndani. You know this God has given them that sense. Ah Mungu amewapea hisia hizo. Then he comes and cleans the podium. Anakuja mpaka mbele anapanguza madhabahu. Very early in the morning. Asubuhi na mapema. Every time he cleans the podium. Kila asubuhi anakuja anapanguza podium. He cleans the podium. Anaipanguza. Year after year. Mwaka baada ya mwaka. When the man of God comes in. Wakati mtumishi wa Mungu anaingia. He finds this oh, podium is very clean. Anakuta podium ikiwa safi sana. Say, Who did this? Anashindwa nani alifanya hivyo? He never used to talk he just blind someone sitting down there. Na yule mtu alikuwa na keti pale hakuwa And they say who is doing who's done this good work? Maybe somebody in the church God has touched them I don't know who they are mm. uh, maybe uh, may God bless that person and if they have any need if they have any desire if they want God to do something for them may the Lord answer their prayers Anasim. as a man of God speaking now we- if they have any difficulty in their lives their health may they receive healing in Jesus name Amen. Mtumishi wa Mungu anakuja anasema yote ambayo amefanya hivyo kama ako nahitaji kama ni ugonjwa acha Mungu ampe uponyaji Because this oh, this podium is, is is standing upon the foundation of Christ Maana podium hii imesimama katika msingi wa Yesu Christ Christ you are a healer Kristo wewe ni mponyaji May you heal her May you heal him Mponye That man used to come every Sunday Alikuwa anakuja huyo mtu alikuwa anakuja kila Jumapili Comes every Sunday Anakuja kila Jumapili With na kitamba he cleanses anapanguza na ni kipofu blind cleanses anapanguza anapanguza kila mahali blind cleansing everywhere anapanguza kila mahali everywhere properly kila mahali vizuri then he goes back and puts his cloth somewhere anaweka kitamba chake vizuri let me tell you one thing acha nikwambie kitu kimoja the days continue moving on vile siku ziliendelea the days continue unfolding siku zikaendelea He came one Sunday. When he was cleaning this podium. Alipokuwa anapanguza hiyo podium. The eyes opened. Macho yakafunguka. He received healing. Akapokea uponyaji. Instantly. No pastor. Hakuna mchungaji. No evangelist. Hakuna mjiristi. Hakuna nabii. Hakuna yote. Him with the podium and Jesus. Yeye na podium na Mungu. And the eyes opened. Na macho yakafunguka. And he saw Jesus. Na akaona Kristo. And he saw what he has been desiring to see. Akaona kile ambacho amekuwa akitamani kuona. Anything you sacrifice the house of God. Chochote ambacho unajitolea katika nyumba ya Mungu. My friends, it's not in vain. Ndugu zangu sio bure. Everything you give to God. Chochote unapenda kwa Mungu. It is not in vain. Sio bure. There is a result. Kuna matokeo. It might take long. Inaweza kawia. But it shall come to pass. Lakini itatimia. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we, uh, let me teach you. Kwa hivyo acha niwafundishe. That's what I'm talking about the benefits of giving to God. Ndio maana anaongea juu ya faida ya kumtolea Mungu. The other language is benefits of sacrificing to God. Kwa lugha nyingine ni faida ya kujitolea kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not in vain. Sio bure. Genesis 22. Mwanzo 22. Let's go to the book of Genesis 22. Mwanzo 22. Genesis 22. Twende katika kitabu cha Mwanzo 22. All of us let's go to Genesis 22. Sisi wote twende katika Mwanzo 22. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says Biblia inasema in verses in verses uh, 
we can read maybe from verses 1 to 3 so, so that may understand. Tuanzie mstari wa kwanza. The Bible says sometimes later God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moria. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains I will tell you about. Early in the morning, verse 3, early in the next morning, Abraham got up and sandaled his donkey. He took, him, he took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. Ikawa baada ya mambo hayo, Mungu alimjibu Ibrahim akamwambia, "Eh hey Ibrahim, naye akasema, mimi hapa. Akasema, umchukue mwanao mwana wako wa pekee, umpendaye Isaka, ukaenda zako mpaka nji ya Moria, ukamtoa sadaka ya kuteketezwa huko juu ya mlima mmoja wapo nitakao kuambia." Ibrahim akaondoka alfajiri, akatandika punda wake, akachukua vijana wawili pamoja naye na Isaka mwanawe. Akachanja kuni kwa ajili ya hiyo sadaka ya kuteketezwa, akaondoka, akaenda mahali mpaka mahali alipoambiwa na Mungu. On the third day Abraham looked, looked up and saw the place in the distance. Verse 5, he said to his servants, "Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you." Siku ya tatu, Ibrahim akainua macho yake, akapaona mahali paka pakali mbali Ibrahim akawaambia vijana wake kaeni ninyi hapa pamoja na punda na mimi na kijana tutakwenda kule tukaabudu na kuwarudia tena Praise be the name of the living God Jina la Bwana litukuzwe The Bible talks about Abraham test Biblia inaongea juu ya kujaribiwa kwa Abraham But that test was testing him if he is able to give unto the Lord Jaribio hilo lilikuwa na mjaribu iwapo anaweza kumtolea Mungu Praise be the name of the living God Jina la Bwana litukuzwe Abraham is able to give to God Iwapo Ibrahim ana uwezo wa kumtolea Mungu. And let me tell you one thing. Na wacha niwaambie jambo moja. You know God works in a mysterious way. Unajua Mungu hufanya kazi kwa njia ya ajabu. He gives you so that you give to him. Anakupea, anakupea ndipoza ukaweze kumpea. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la litukuzwe. God is not somebody who wants to take what belongs to you. Mungu si yule mtu ambaye anataka kukuchukua kile ambacho ni chako. Anakupa kwanza. Hallelujah. So that he tests your faith. Sa baadaye anajaribu imani yako. Hallelujah. Amen. So Abraham. Kwa hivyo Abraham. You know about Abraham. Unajua didi Abraham. The time frame that he that took him to get the son Isaac. Muda ambao ulimchukua kumpata mwanawe Isaac. It took him 25 years. Ilimchukua miaka 25. For Abraham to get his son Isaac. Ili ya kwamba Abraham akaweza kumpata mwanawe Isaac. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. And that is the spirit of patience. Na hiyo ni roho ya kuvumilia. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. That he waited patiently until the Lord answered him for 25 after 25 years. Alingoja kwa subira mpaka Mungu akamjibu baada ya miaka 25. So the story of Abraham has got many other teachings in it. Kwa hivyo hadithi ya Abraham ina mafundisho mengi ndani yake. This principle of patience or principle of waiting. Kuna hii ya kujifunza ya kwamba kungoja ama kuwa msubira katika Bwana. That we should be patiently waiting upon the Lord. Na kwamba tukaweze kumngoja Bwana kwa subira. the time. Haijalishi muda. But every promise of God must come to pass. Lakini kila ahadi ya Mungu lazima itatimia. But today I'm speaking about giving benefits of giving to God. Lakini leo naongoja naongea juu ya faida za kumtolea so Bwana. Was asked by God to give his only begotten his only son. Wakati Abraham aliambiwa akamtoe mwanawe wa pekee, he didn't hesitate. Hakukua kuchukua muda. He took a step and moved on. Alichukua wakati na akasonga mbele. Praise be the name of the living Jina God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. In verse 6 the Bible says, Mstari wa 6 Biblia inasema, Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and placed it, placed it on his son Isaac and he himself and, and and he himself carried the fire and the knife. And the two of them were on together. Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Abraham, father, yes, my son. Abraham replied, the fire, the fire and wood are here. Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Basi Ibrahim akazitua kuu ni za hiyo sadaka, akamtuika isaka mwanawe, Akatua moto na kisu mkononi mwake. Wakaenda wote wawili pamoja. Isaka akasema na Ibrahim baba yake akinena. Babangu, 
Naye akasema mimi hapa mwanangu akasema tazama moto hupo na kuni zipo lakini yuko wapi mwana kondoo kwa sadaka ya kuteketezwa Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. What I wanted to learn from that scripture. Nataka kitu ambacho nataka mjifunze kwa hilo andiko. That Abraham. Ya kwamba Abraham. That Abraham. Ya kwamba Abraham took a step of faith and he obeyed. Alichukua hatua ya imani na akatii. And when he obeyed. Na wakati alitii. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. He took his son. Akamchukua mwanawe. He took the sacrifice with him. Akachukua sadaka pamoja naye. He carried the sacrifice with him. Akabeba sadaka pamoja naye. And he placed the sacrifice before the Lord. Na akaweka sadaka mbele za Mungu. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. He took his son Isaac with him. Akachukua mwanawe Isaaka pamoja naye. He placed him on the wood. Akamweka kwa kuni. And the fire was ready. Na moto ulikuwa tayari. And the knife was ready. Na kisu, kisu kilikuwa tayari. Praise be the name of the living God. Na na bwana alitukuza. He was giving he was giving a painful sacrifice. Alikuwa anatoka anatoa sadaka ya uchungu. Praise be the name of the living God. Na na bwana alitukuza. But he obeyed the voice of God. Lakini akatii sauti ya Mungu. And he was doing it willingly. Na alikuwa na fotoa kwa kujitolea. He was forced by God. Hakulazimishwa na Mungu. If he was forced by God he could have refused. Iwapo angelazimishwa na Mungu angekataa. He accepted and he was doing it willingly. Alikubali na alikuwa na utoa kwa moyo wake. Praise be the name of the living God. Na Bwana alitukuza. What I want you to understand. Kile anataka uelewe. That when you give to God. Wakati unamtolea Mungu. Give to God willingly. Toa kwa moyo mkunjuku. Not forcefully. Si kwa kulazimishwa. Give to God willingly. Toa kwa moyo mkunjuku. With all your heart. Na moyo wako wote. With all your soul. Na nafsi yako. With all your mind. Na mawazo yako. With your desire. Na kutamani kwako. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. So Abraham took his son. Kwa hivyo Abraham akamchukua mwanawe. As a sacrifice. Kama sadaka. And then the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema Put the, he put the fire the Aka, firewood akaweka kuni and the fire was there na moto ulikuepo ready to burn the offering tayari kuteketeza sadaka praise be the name of the living god amen but the son asked him lakini mwana akamuuliza baba where is the lamb uh, 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 my father you wapi mwana kondoo baba yangu abraham answered in verses 8 katika mstari wa 8 Abraham akajibu God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering my son Mungu atajipatia mwana kondoo kwa hiyo sadaka mwanangu And two, two of them went on together Basi wakaendelea wote wawili pamoja so I want you to understand Nataka uelewe When you give to God Wakati unapeana kwa Mungu When you give to God Wakati unapeana kwa Mungu a, 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 I mean a, a painful sacrifice Sadaka ya uchungu God must open a door Lazima Mungu afungue njia Hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible says Kwa hivyo Biblia inasema in verse 10 Mstari wa 10 Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Ibrahim akanyosha mkono wake akakitua kisu. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven. Ili amchinje mwanawe. Abraham Abraham. <laughs> Here I am, he replied. Do not lay your hand on your boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Ndipo malaika wa Bwana akamwita kutoka mbinguni akasema, Ibrahimu Ibrahimu, naye akasema, mimi hapa. Akasema, usimnyoshe kijana mkono wako wala usimtende neno. Kwa maana sasa ninajua ya kuwa unamcha Mungu iwapo huku nizuidhia mwanao, mwanao wa pekee. How many people Ni watu wangapi are ready wako tayari to give God kumpeana kwa Mungu willingly kwa moyo mkunjuku with their own heart kwa moyo mmoja The Bible says Biblia inasema but the angel of the Lord called out to him from up, uh, from heaven and he replied do not lay your hand upon the boy do not let do do do, do not do anything to him now i know you fear the Lord I want you to understand this scripture. Nataka uelewe hili andiko. Kumbe giving to God. You have you must have a spirit of fear. Kumbe that you fear God. Kutua Fearing kutua. God is that is not because God is a killer. You fear God because you revere him. Yaani unamheshimu Mungu. Ndio mm. unamogopa Mungu si kwa sababu Mungu anataka kukuua. Unamogopa Mungu kwa sababu gani? Hebu tuambie unaogopa kama Mungu kwa nini mama? Eh? Kwa mambo mengi yamekutendea lakini unamwogopa Mungu zaidi kwa nini? Why do you fear God? 
Yeye ni kila. When the Bible talks about fearing God, wakati Biblia inasema kumwogopa Mungu, that you revive him, yani unamheshimu Mungu. Inamaanisha kumheshimu. Kiwango kwamba unampatia sifa zote na utukufu, unampatia heshima. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Si Mungu tutamwogopa Mungu sababu Mungu anakuja na kikizi kukukua. Tunamwogopa Mungu kwa sababu yale matendo yake Mungu na yeye ni Mungu mkuu na yale mambo ametutendea vile dada anasema ametutendea mambo tumeyaona mm. si ni kweli yes. na tunamheshimu tuna Mungu kumuogopa Mungu ni kumheshimu Mungu praise be the name of living god amen ni kumpatia Mungu nini heshima haleluya amen praise be the name of living god amen. so abraham alikuwa akimheshimu Mungu zaidi yes haleluya ndipo wakati abraham aliambiwa toa mwanao wa pekee akaogopa Mungu na kumheshimu na kumtoka mtoto kama nini kama dhabihu hmm. kwa hivyo dhabihu zetu tunapomtolea Mungu tuzitoe kwa moyo ya hofu yani kumuogopa Mungu na kutoa dhabihu haleluya ya kumpendeza Mungu amen ndipo Abraham alikuwa anatoa dhabihu ya kumpendeza nani Mungu Mungu haleluya lakini akiwa akitoa akiwa na nini na na hofu ya Mungu Anajua siku na mama Mungu anatuambia maneno hata anakunenea usiku. Na unasema ai sijui ni nini hiyo. Haleluya. Lakini hofu ya Mungu itafanya utafanya jambo la kumpendeza Mungu. Amen. When you fear God. Wakati unamwogopa Mungu. God gives you wisdom. Mungu anakupea hekima. Haleluya. To do things that will please him. Kufanya mambo ambayo yatampendeza yeye. Praise be the name of the living God. Jina la Bwana litukuze. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. When you revere God. Wakati unamheshimu Mungu. Then God will give you his wisdom. Mungu atakupea hekima yake. And that's why when Abraham was giving up his son. Na ndio maana wakati Abraham alikuwa anampeana mwanawe. When he was reaching up with a knife to to uh, to, uh, to slay his son. Alipoinua kisu kumkata. The angel came. Malaika akatokea. Haleluya. Amen. Because Abraham revered God. Maana Abraham alimwogopa Mungu. He feared God. Alimwogopa Mungu. Haleluya. And he walked in the ways of God. Na akatembea katika njia za Mungu. Haleluya. Amen. Siku ya leo hii. For example, hii kibeti hii ya gold iko hapa. Kuna kibeti ya gold iko hapa. Mm. Hii kibeti ya gold iko hapa. Hii ya gold hii. Mungu ananenea dada yetu hapa. Sasa hivi tumeketi hapa toa dhabihu ya ngili 100 si ni kweli naenda ngili 200 ngapi 200 nakutabiria atakuwa na hiyo pesa haina ngili 200 wapi kwa hiki naambia kwa hiyo 200 toa mo tufanye tunue mabati ya chaji akiwa na mhofu Mungu na kabisa ni Mungu amemnenea atatoa lakini kama mhofu Mungu atasema unajua ni kwenda nikanunua kaproti kingine kule siyo hapi huko sasa nikitoa 100 si nimeleza haleluya amen lakini sauti ya Mungu akiomofu Mungu atatoa yes tunaelewana hiyo system when you fear god you will give god what god has commanded you to give amen kwa nani ya Mungu god must speak to you mm. hata abraham ndo aende kutoa ile dhabihu alinenea hakuchukua tu kimtoto yake anda kibebe wewe chokuna twende nikutoe dhabihu Twende nitolee Mungu hii kitu hapana Mungu alimwambia utatoa Abraham naye akati akatoka Maana Mungu amefanya nini Amenena Wakati Mungu anakunenea naye atafungua milango nyingine Amen Maana you may tea Hallelujah Amen Are you understanding Yes Mungu akikunenea Hallelujah Na ukati Hallelujah naye Mungu atafungua milango yeah. nyingine Hallelujah Amen Are you understanding? Yes. Are you understanding? Mm. So Abraham obeyed. Abraham akati. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Bible says Bila inasema in verses 13 mstari wa 13 Abraham looked up and there in a thicket in a thicket he saw a ram caught by his stones. Ibrahim akainua macho yake akaangalia na tazama kondoo mme yuko nyuma yake amenaswa pembe zake Abraham katika kichaka and there in a thicket he saw a ram caught, caught by its horns he went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son basi ibrahim akaenda akamtoa huyo kondoo akamtoa awe sadaka ya kuteketezwa badala ya mwanawe so se, sema hivi instead badala sema vizuri na nguvu instead badala of his son ya mwanawe 
Unaona vile Mungu hufanya? Mm. Badala ya ile dhabihu yako ulikuwa unataka kutolea Mungu, Mungu anakupa nyingine ya kumtolea. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. So those are benefits of God. Hiyo ni faida ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you go to the book of John 3:16. Ukienda katika kitabu cha Yohana 3:16. Hallelujah. Let's just read that one as a finish up. John 3:16. That one you have read many times. Eh. Mm. Yeah. For God so loved the world, he gave his own begotten son. Amen. Wala wajui wafungue harakaraka to John 3:16. Amen. John 3:16 you can read for us Kiswahili. Biblia inasema kwa maana chinzi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu hata akamtoa mwanawe pekee ili kila mtu amwaminie asipotee bali awe na uzima wa milele. Bali awe na uzima wa milele. But the message is this for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son. And also Abraham gave his only begotten. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Abraham gave his only son. And God also gave his only God and son. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. Everyone gave his only thing that he had. Yes. Abraham was told by us by God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And he obeyed. Hallelujah. Abraham aliulizwa na Mungu na kati. Giving you must hear the voice of God. Kwa hivyo katika kutoa lazima usikie sauti ya Mungu. Don't hear the voice of man. Usisikie sauti ya mwanadamu. You must hear the voice of God. Lazima usikie sauti ya Mungu. Asking you to give what God wants you to give. Akikuuliza utoe kile ambacho anataka utoe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God can tell you give five chairs to the church. Hallelujah. Amen. He has commanded you you go with that voice. Anaweza kukuamrisha utoe viti vitano katika kanisa unaenda na hiyo sauti maana amekuamrisha. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. That sacrifice will please him and it will be acceptable before him. Hiyo dhabihu itakubalika na itapokelewa mbele zake. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to learn one thing. Nataka ujifunze kitu kimoja. Walk in the spirit. Tembea katika roho. Listen the spirit. Sikiza roho. Hear the voice of God. Hiyo sikia sauti ya Mungu. Waweza patia Mungu kitu chochote hata kile unataka kama Mungu amekuamuru. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Abraham alikuwa anatoa mtoto wake pekee. Amemgojea kama miaka ngapi? 25. 25 years. Sisi wanadamu wa siku ya leo tunangojea watoto kuzaliwa kwa kwa miezi tisa, si ni kweli? Mm. Yeye alingojea miezi 25, miaka 25 tukapata mm. mtoto. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. So I want to on that scripture of Genesis and John 3:16. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to see what made Abraham for God to give that ram on behalf of his son. Katika hiyo Yohana 3:16 na hiyo mwanzo 22. Number 1 is Abraham obeyed God. Kila ambacho kilisababisha Abraham atoe mwanawe ni kwamba alimtii Mungu. Abraham obeyed. Jambo la kwanza Abraham alimtii Mungu. He obeyed God. God. When you obeyed God when God commands you you will do it. Wakati unamtii Mungu akikuamrisha utatenda. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Are you together? As I continue with this subject. Napoendelea na hilo somo. I'll teach you the next level of benefits of giving. Nitawafundisha kiwango kingine cha faida ya kutoa. Hallelujah. Usitoe tu kama unatoa tu. Unatoa tu na ujue kama kuna faida. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll continue with this subject. Itaendelea na somo hilo. Then you see what benefits when you give. What do you receive? Utaona wakati unatoa unapokea nini? Many people they think If you give God a uh, hundred shillings in return he'll give you hundred shillings. Wengi ufikiria kwamba ukimpa Mungu shilingi 100 atakurejeshea hizo 100. Hiyo sio chinzi ya Mungu. Some people they can give hundred shillings to God. Mtu anaweza peana 200 shillings to God. 100 ama 200 kwa Mungu. This morning. Asubuhi ya leo. When they go across here going across the road they find they, they meet with a friend akikutana na rafiki kule barabarani says, oh hi long time we have you never met nakutana na rafiki anamwambia tujakutana muda mrefu i want to give you go and then maybe it's lunch there anampa shilingi 200 aenda uka kule 
Then Sunday he came with a testimony. Anakuja hapa na ushuhuda Jumapili. Praise be the name of living God. You know I gave 200 shillings to the church. Then then when I came out of the church, nikishuka to pale kit somebody else gave me 200 shillings. That's not the formula of God. The formula of God 30 fold 60 fold 100 folds. Whatever you give God, he multiplies it. Kile ambacho unampa Mungu ukisidisha. He multiplies. Ukisidisha. If you give 200 he'll multiply. Ukimpa 200 atasidisha. The multiplication of God is not our multiplication. You can give 200 God 200 shillings God gives you 100,000. Unaweza mpea shilingi 200 anasidisha mpaka 1,000. You can give God 200 shillings and he gives you 1 million. Unaweza mpa shilingi 200 anasidisha mpaka milioni. The system of God is not our system. Mpangilio ya Mungu sio yetu. Ati unipatie 200 nikurudishie 200. Hiyo si hiyo si system ya Mungu. Hiyo ni system ya watu wa dunia. Ya Mungu unaweza kumtolea hata shilingi 5, Mungu akupatie shilingi 50 maana anaona vile 1500 vile anaona vile vile moyo wako umetoa. Unatoa shilingi 200, Mungu akufanye milionea. Amen. Unatoa ngiri, Mungu afanye trillionea. God looks at the heart. Mungu tazama moyo. Hallelujah. Amen. Willing heart. Moyo ambao umekubali. Hallelujah. Amen. Lakini nisiku ustoe 200 alafu kata hapa kona mtu akupatia 200 useme hallelujah hiyo hiyo nipata potera Hakuna haleluya hapo <laughs> Siku moja I told God I'll give you what I have nikapatia na moyo wangu wote hallelujah Amen God multiplied in millions Kwa napatia Mungu kaploti ka 50 by 100 Mungu anakupatia mashamba na mashamba. Amen. That's how God works. Yes. Anaongeza mifugo ndani. Alafu nakukumbusha na nakumbuka siku ile ulinipatia kila kitu kwa mimi Mungu uli sacrifice mimi ndio huyu sasa Mungu nimeshuka. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll continue teaching about giving. You know I'm going to work you. Tendelea kuwafunza juu ya kutoa tu mimi kwa. Amen. Nitakutolea. Nitakutolea. Na moyo wangu wote. Na moyo wangu wote. Na mawazo yangu. Na mawazo yangu. Na nafsi yangu. Na nafsi yangu. Na roho yangu ya upendo. Na roho yangu ya upendo. Kwa sababu ninakupenda vile jinsi ulimtoa mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kwa sababu nakupenda vile jinsi ulimtoa mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kwa sababu ulimtoa kwa upendo ulio nao juu yangu. Kwa sababu ulimtoa kwa upendo ulio nao juu yangu. Na mimi Mungu nitakupenda. Na mimi Mungu nitakupenda. Nitakutolea dhabihu itakayokupendeza. Nitakutolea dhabihu itakayokupendeza. Na moyo wangu wote. Na moyo wangu wote. Na mawazo yangu. Na mawazo yangu. Na nafsi yangu. Na nafsi yangu katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Pigie hizo makofi mazuri. Amen. Pigie hizo makofi mazuri. Pigie hizo makofi mazuri. Mashallah.